How to make a summer peach cobbler. This peach cobbler is a great American summer classic that's filled with such luscious fruit, you'll be tempted to finish the whole thing in one sitting. You will need one and a half pounds of ripe, fragrant peaches, one quarter to one half cups plus three tablespoons of sugar, one tablespoon of cornstarch, one tablespoon of fresh lemon juice, a two quart baking dish, a baking sheet, one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, a quarter teaspoon of salt, four tablespoons of cold unsalted butter cut into half-inch cubes, three quarters of a cup of buttermilk, and vanilla ice cream. Optional, four or six ounce ramekins, a pastry blender, and whipped cream. Step one. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Step two, cut the peaches in half and discard the pits. Cut the peach halves into half inch thick wedges and the wedges in half so you're left with chunks of fruit. For the best cobbler, use peaches that have been picked ripe. Step three, in a large bowl, whisk together the cornstarch and anywhere from one quarter to one half cups of sugar, depending on how sweet the peaches are. Step four, Add the cut peaches and lemon juice and toss gently to combine. To help ripen peaches fast, you can store them in a brown bag at room temperature. Step five, fill a two quart baking dish with the peach mixture and place on a baking sheet. You can also make this dessert in individual portions by using four or six ounce ramekins. Step six, time to make the topping. Whisk together the flour, the baking powder, the baking soda, the salt, and two tablespoons of sugar in a large bowl. Step seven, using a pastry blender or your fingertips, blend in the butter until the mixture looks like coarse meal. Step eight, add the buttermilk and stir just until a dough forms. If you don't have buttermilk and don't want to run to the store, mix the same amount of regular milk with one teaspoon of lemon juice or white vinegar and let sit for five minutes. It's a great substitute. Step nine, drop the dough in large quarter cup dollops onto the peaches and sprinkle the dough with the remaining teaspoon of sugar. Step 10, bake until the fruit is bubbling and the buttermilk biscuit topping is golden brown, approximately 30 to 40 minutes. Step 11, cool for about 15 minutes and serve with plenty of vanilla ice cream or whipped cream. Did you know there are nearly 300 varieties of peaches grown in the United States, including the nectarine, which is a smooth-skinned genetic mutation of the standard fuzzy peach. 